Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video, and today I'm actually going to be doing something a little different today. I'm actually going to be doing an announcement video to uh, kind of let you guys in on what's uh, been going on these past few days, why I haven't been uploading videos as much as I used to. Um, it's actually been because of school and tests, a lot of testing going on. Um, so I probably won't be uploading as much as I used to until um, at the earliest Friday maybe Saturday or Sunday but um, but these this week the rest of this week and next week I'm definitely not gonna be as um, uploading as much as I used to because of that so yeah um, I also wanted to d discuss half a little bit of a discussion with you guys about um, how my channel has been doing um, if you have any suggestions suggestions to my channel a channel about how I can improve it um, please let me know in the comment section that'd be greatly appreciated um, I also would like to talk about uh, um, how I'm handling requests um, requests for games I'm actually gonna put it put them in a list that way I'll be able to um, get to all of your requests sooner or later um, it's a first come first serve thing so the first request I see for a game I'll add that to my own personal list of games to play for requests and I'll get to to those requests as soon as possible um, if you have any other requests such as I don't know maybe um, reviewing a certain game. I'm actually considering doing reviews um, later on. Um, maybe giving you a guide for for I don't know maybe how to unlock lock Arkham Origins Batman in this game, or completing the last section of the. Um, battle letters in this game or maybe um, a trophy guide for Injustice Gods Among Us for PlayStation um, as for those requests of course I'll get to that as soon as possible too so if you have any any type of requests please don't hesitate to ask put it in the comment section you can private message me me um, any of those Either of those will work fine. Um, but other than that, I am pretty open to requests. As long as I have the game, I'll do it. Um, now, as a heads up, I don't have that many Xbox games right now. I don't even have Xbox at all, actually. Um, I did create an Xbox account on PC, so but I don't have any games for that either. So... Um, I'll see how that works out in the future. If I get more games for that, maybe I'll do some PC gameplays. Place, but um, other than that, I've also wanted to discuss with you guys about um and hear your opinion about the PS Vita possibly dying. Um, I just as you know, I just got um a Vita for Christmas. Um, as I showed it off in the gameplay of The Secret Saturdays, Beast of Fifth Sun. Um, you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, it's actually been, it's actually pretty good. I enjoyed the Vita a lot. And I've, um, before I've had a PSP and a DS. Um, but the, so far the Vita has been my favorite system. Um... It basically improved on everything that the PSP didn't do, such as the dual analog sticks, which if you've, again, watched my Secret Saturdays video, um, you've probably seen me complain about the single analog stick problem, which really was a problem back then. I don't, I si even to this day, I still don't understand, like, why there was one analog stick. Like, that's just, I don't know. But, um... Other than that, the Vita has been a good system. The graphics on the games are nice. Um, they're PS, they're really PS3 like. A 
apparently peop many people are saying that it's a portable PS3. Um, pretty much the only game that I've played outside of PSP classics for back compatibility have been been um, the the little big planet free to play game. I don't remember his name. I think it's Run Sec or Run. Put it in the comment section if I'm wrong. Um, and I've also played Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Um, I've so far I've really really liked the Vita, and I'm really and I'm really looking forward to do some gameplays, um, more gameplays off of that, and possibly doing some playtests for PlayStation Now and a few um, emulators with the ARK and the Vita Half Byte Loader. And um, speaking of PlayStation Now, um, I've heard heard also that. Apparently, Sony is um, no longer supporting PlayStation now for PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 3, and uh, the smart TVs, I think, that support PlayStation now. I didn't even know smart TVs even support PlayStation now. But anyways, um, apparently, I, I've heard that from an article, I think, from PlayStation Lifestyle. Um, it's, I feel like it's disappointing that the Vita is no longer getting support for PlayStation now. No. But, um, but what really surprised me is the fact that they're discontinuing it for PlayStation 3. Which is kind of weird. You're discontinuing, because you're discontinuing support for a system that you're streaming from. That's kind of, yeah. I understand that the PS3 is dying. Um, I still play PS3 games, but still, that's just I don't know. But it, it it's very dis. I feel like it's very disappointing that the Vita is apparently um, gonna be dying off because of the fact that it it lived a really short life, honestly. And not many games were released for it. Well, not many games that people really, really um, know or recognize anyway. Um, I've kind of noticed that many third-party developers have kind of stopped supporting the Vita. Um, like, for example, a dra only one Dragon Ball Z game was released for the Vita. And Dragon, which was Battle of Z. Which I enjoy Battle of Z, but it's subpar at best. It's not the best game, but it's it's not the worst either. I just feel like it could have been better, but um, no Downto game was actually released for the Vita, which kind of surprised me because J Star's Victory was on the Vita. Um, Mortal the Mortal Kombat servers for the PlayStation Vita have been shut down, which it kind of surprised me because the PS3 and the 360 servers and the PC servers are still up and running. So that kind of further um, supports the idea that they're getting rid of the Vita. Um, so yeah, let me know um, in the comment section below what you think. Is the Vita dead or is it still alive? Um, and if it is dead, did or if it's dying, when do you think, when do you think the Vita's life comes in? Um, if the Vita is dying, I feel like it it, it won't last in, um af after 2018, if then, because there are, there aren't that many games that I've been hearing that I've been really been hearing about that have been new releases for the Vita this year in 2017. Um, I know the Vita is like seven years old, but it just feels like it came and then it it just left. And I and I strongly felt that that if PlayStation actually um took put more time into the system and and kind of pushed. Um, third-party developers to release 
least um, more games for the system, I feel like they, they could have easily beat the 3DS in sales. Like, easily. Cause, because so far, the most graphically advanced game, portable game anyway, has been Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was a PS Vita exclusive. Which I haven't played Golden Abyss yet, but I've seen gameplays of it, and it looks great in the Vita. For a portable system, that is impressive. Along with that, the other si the other features that back up this system are great too. It, an emulator to um, for backwards compatibility for PSP. Um, of course, the ability to listen to music, watch movies, and all that stuff. That works great too. Um, I've actually tried out the the internet browser, which is one of the many things that I feel like is. It's one of the first few things that I try out when I get a new system, and the internet browser works pretty good. The Flash works great. I've actually watched, um, been able to watch YouTube on it before, which I didn't expect to do. Um, but yeah, the Vita has been my favorite system so far. So please leave a com, um, please leave in the comment section below also what's if you prefer the DS or the PS Vita or the PSP and um and why along with um leaving along with leaving a like comment along with leaving a Sorry about that, guys. Um, along with leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you're new. And see you next time.